Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to come in and run my mouth for a quick second, and then I'm going to bed. I done got sleepy. Anyways, all right, so listen. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills gets two new cast members, including Will Smith's ex. Y'all know they had to throw his name in there. Anyway, so everybody pretty much knows at this point that Will Smith's first wife, um, Sheree Zamponi. Um, she will be joining season 12 of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, basically, it says that Sheree Zamponi and Diana Jenkins have officially signed on for season 12 of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, Zampon Zamponi. God, I don't know how to say that woman's last name. We're going to call her Sheree. Okay. Um, 54 and Jenkins 48 will join returning cast members Kyle Richards, Lisa Renner, Erica Jane, Dorit Kimsley, Garcelle Bouvet, Sutton Strack, Crystal Klung, Minkoff, and Kathy Hilton. Um, it basically goes into say that Zamponi, Zampanak, I don't know how to say that one, but Sheree was previously married to Will Smith from 92 to 95. They have a 29-year-old son named Trey. Hey, Trey, how you doing? Girl, okay. Um, basically, uh, that's pretty much it, girl. I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I think that this will be a good fit for a house. I mean, I think this she will fit in great with the housewives. Um, I think that she's going to be Garcelle's friend. I think it would be cute. So, you know, Garcelle, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I I think Garcelle was starting to come out of her shell, you know, last season. You know, sometimes when you got a good Judy by your side, you can be, you know, you might be a little extra messy. <laughs> okay? When you got somebody to back you up, when, you, when your good sister sitting right beside you, sometimes, you know, we tend to be a little messy, right? So I'm hoping that now that Garcelle has someone who, you know, hopefully will have her back. Um, and, you know, hopefully Sheree feels comfortable enough. Um, you know, just I'm just happy to see them, you know, see how they interact with each other on the screen even more. And, of course, with the group of ladies. I think that Sheree is going to do fine. I, I, I honestly do. Um, who else? Let's, you know what? <laughs> I saw this. Girl, how many of y'all still watch Grey's Anatomy? Grey's Anatomy used to be my show. Like, that was the show for me. Like, I used to love me some Grey's Anatomy. And then I kind of drifted out of Grey's Anatomy. You know, Grey's Anatomy, it's been on for almost like 20 seasons. <laughs> okay, I think it's 18. Um, so this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Ellen Pompeo, which play, she plays the... Um, character Meredith Grey um, wants Grey's Anatomy to end but it brings in a gazillion dollars I've been trying to focus on convincing everybody it should end um, it's no secret that Grey's Anatomy has been on for a long time Ellen Pompeo who plays Meredith Grey admits that she she's somewhat ready for it to end during an, an exclusive interview with Insider I've been trying to focus on convincing everybody that it should end um, I feel like I'm the super naive one who keeps saying, but what's the story going to be? What story are we going to tell? And everyone's like, who cares, Ellen? It makes a gazillion dollars. They say she makes $20 million a year, um, which means I'm sure the show the show probably makes, a, like they said, a gazillion dollars a year. You know, I kind of started drifting off from Grey's Anatomy years ago. I tried to get back into it probably like season 13 or 14, I can't remember. Um, and I was just like, I'm over it. You know, once, <laughs> girl, you know, Grey's Anatomy, they have been through a lot. They have went through, you know, every lesbian story, gay story, every, you know, girl, they done chopped off people limb. I said, girl, let me see something. When they started chopping off people legs, <laughs> I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> when they started chopping off people legs, well, who was that leg that cut off? 
Arizona. When they chopped off Arizona leg, girl, I said, oh, no, ma'am. Girl, y'all chopping off bitches' legs now. Like, I was like, y'all doing too much. Like, they done chopped off people's legs. They have had car, um, air, uh, air, what is a, uh, uh, airplane crash, um, uh, shooting at the hospital. Like, they pretty much played out every scenario that you can possibly think of. And I was like, girl, I'm over it. <laughs> Everybody done screwed each other in the hospital. It's like, it's a wrap for me. So I'm out of, I don't, I tapped out of Grey's Anatomy a long time ago. I thought about trying to catch up on uh, Netflix. And I was like, girl, I'm not about to go back. Girl, hey, girl. Girl, bye. So it's a wrap for me on Grey's Anatomy. Girl, but a lot of people still watch Grey's Anatomy. A lot of people still watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm really surprised. But a lot of people still watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, what else? Oh. Oh. Megan Good and um Dev De De what's her name? De Devin Franklin. They released a statement together after much prayer and cons we talked about this earlier in my live, but I didn't know about this statement. After much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our future separately but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There's no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incre incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we've spent together as husband and wife. We are also extremely thankful to God for the testimony being created inside of us and for blessing our lives with, with each other. You know, it is what it is. But like I said on my live earlier, girl, they was married for almost a decade. <laughs> girl, they gave it a good run. I think that a lot of people are disappointed. <laughs> this is what I, I'm going to say something. I feel like a lot of y'all just be putting on for the internet. I'm going to go ahead and say it. All of this, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, girl, y'all were not worried about Megan and Devin like that. Devon, whatever his name is. Like, y'all were not worried about them to the point where, girl, all of a sudden now y'all, girl, heart is skipping a beat because you found out they're getting a divorce. When was the last time you really Googled Megan Good and her husband? When was the last time you really sat down and was like, you know what? I admire their marriage. And quiet as it's kept, y'all don't get enough of trying to admire people's marriage. That's for all of us, girl. Y'all don't know what's going on behind people's closed doors. I think also that a lot of you put so much into folks' marriages. And I think it gives you a hope on finding love that when these people do get divorced, it's like a stab to your heart. Like, oh my God, they got a divorce. What are we going to do? How can you be with somebody for that long and you just give up? And, you know, something has to be wrong. Y'all do know that there is, a there is a possibility that you can be with someone and you start to drift apart and someone or both people realize that we're drifting apart. Should we try and, you know, save this relationship? And they may try and save it and realize that it's not worth saving. It's not going anywhere. We're not where we used to be. We probably never will be. So let's go ahead and end the relationship. I don't think every relationship, even though it's probably a lot, I don't think every relationship has to end with someone bashing someone on the internet. Like, it's okay that they came out with this statement together and basically told us no one is at fault. It could be a possibility that somebody is at fault. But quiet as it's kept, this is the mature way to do it. I'm not going to bash you. You're not going to bash me. We're going to present ourselves as a united front and we're going to go on by our business. Why can it be that way too? Why can't it just be, girl, they ended, they, the relationship is over? Devin, Devon, <laughs> Pastor Franklin, he's a nice looking man. He's still young. Megan is a nice looking woman. She's still young. If they want to go out there and find um, a partner, if that's what they're that that's what they feel is the next step in their life is, is to find love again. I'm sure they will not have a problem. It's okay that they got a divorce, y'all. It really is. Would y'all rather have them stay in a relationship for the sake of just staying in a relationship to please you? I think that's another reason why y'all probably don't like Will. And, I'm, you know, I want to, y'all, I think the reason why Will and Jada 
The reason why I think a lot of y'all don't like Will and Jada is because y'all placed Will and Jada on this pedestal and y'all thought y'all knew what was going on in their marriage. And day by day, they let us know that their, their, they, their marriage is created by them and they follow their own rules and not the rules that you think that they should follow. And because they don't follow the rules that a lot of people follow or try to follow in their marriage, all of a sudden you think their marriage is a failure. But Will and Jada good. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how I got on Will and Jada. But shout out to Devin. Shout out to Megan. Um, girl. Britney Spears. Girl, Britney Spears' daddy. Jamie Spears asked Britney Spears to continue paying his attorney fees of $1,200 per hour in a request her lawyer called shameful just before she dragged her entire family on Instagram. I know that's right. Britney Spears father, Jamie Spears has requested that she continue to cover his legal fees according to new court documents. Jamie, along with the other lawyers, oversaw Spears' life and finances as her conservators from 2008 until September this year. Babe, I'm spitting everywhere, girl. It's his retainer. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm acting like I'm spitting. I'm acting like y'all sitting in my living room. I'm spitting on y'all. But, I mean, girl, I guess y'all can see it flying out of my mouth. Okay. Um, when Jamie was officially suspended, um, he faced scrutiny for his role within the conservatorship which was terminated last month after Spears publicly denounced him during an emotional court hearing in June. Um, now in new legal documents attained by multiple outlets, including Variety and People, Jamie requested that his daughter's estate make payments to his attorneys um, for ongoing, girl, I can't say that word, duties associated with the winding up of the conservatorship of the person in a state. Prompt payment on account of Jamie's attorney fees is necessary to ensure that the conservatorship can be wound up quickly and effectively. Um, efficiently, I'm sorry, to allow Spears to take control of her life as she and Jamie desire, read the documents. You know, at the end of the day, girl, Brittany don't owe them people nothing. Girl, I, I don't keep up with that Britney Spears case like that. But girl, what it sounds like to me, her daddy wasn't shit. Her sister wasn't shit. Her mama, she ain't shit. Girl, I don't trust that boyfriend. I think that Britney, if I was Britney, I would probably do one more album. I would do, I would probably do one more world tour or probably a Las Vegas residency. And I would stack my money up and baby, I would disappear on them hoes. I will let my children know mama is about to go get her house somewhere in Hollywood Hills with no neighbors and I don't want to be bothered. And you can come up there if you need some money, let me know. Girl, you got extra, I got an extra room if you want, if you want, if you need somewhere to stay. But other than that, the only people I would probably be in contact with, if she has a good relationship with her children, I don't know, will be my children. Other than that, everybody else could sit on it and spin on it, okay? And they also need to watch out for that boyfriend because I don't trust that boyfriend of hers. I think he helps her no good. I think he helps her no good. I think he helps her no good. Now, I'm glad that Brittany is free, but I need somebody to go in there and make sure that that man ain't taking advantage of Brittany because I think that man is taking advantage of Brittany. I think that man about to take all of Brittany goddamn money. <laughs> I think that man is about to take all of Brittany goddamn money. I do. <laughs> I do. Okay, I wouldn't be bothered with nobody, none of them. Maybe I would make my money and baby probably go get me a house. Probably not even Hollywood Hills, baby. I'll probably move somewhere like Dallas, right? Or Houston, somewhere where it's still the city, but no paparazzi, right? I probably still would want to move to like Sugar Land outside of Houston and not be bothered. I'll probably, probably even get me a house in, I don't know, girl. I was about to say the country. But yeah, I, I would just go, I would put out one last album, honey, go on a little Las Vegas residency, 
get all my coins, and baby, she done for the rest of her life. I would be done. Y'all hoes have made enough money off me. It's a wrap, okay? Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.